Here's your farm and ranch report from the Montana Ag Network. Hi everybody, it's time for your farm and ranch news. Well, the USDA's Risk Management Agency has announced that producers who planted cover crops on prevented plant acres will be permitted to hay, graze, or chop those fields a little bit earlier this year than what has previously been tradition, which has been November. And that's because RMA has adjusted the 2019 final hay and grazing date from November 1 to September 1 to help producers who were prevented from planting because of flooding and excess rainfall this spring. Allison Rivera, the NCBA's Executive Director of Government Affairs says RMA has also determined that silage, haylage, and baleage should be treated in the same manner as haying and grazing this year. This is a change currently made just for 2019. What comes down the road, we will continue to work with USDA and Congress uh, if there is a need down the road for the, the date change further. Meanwhile, USDA's Undersecretary for Farm Production and Conservation, Bill Northey, says this change will make some good stewardship of the land easier to help accomplish while also providing a better opportunity to ensure quality forage is in fact available for livestock this fall. In the meantime, for more information, please contact your local USDA Service Center. Stay with us. We'll have more Ag News right after this. Well, according to an annual survey of beekeepers, winter hit U.S. honeybees hard this year with the highest loss rate yet. Now, the annual nationwide survey by the Bee Informed Partnership found over 37% of honeybee colonies died this past winter, nearly nine percentage points higher than the average winter loss. Keep in mind, bees pollinate about $15 billion worth of U.S. food crops. One third of the human diet actually comes from little pollinators like honeybees, including native wild bees and other animals, many of which are also in trouble, they say. Now, the survey also found year to year bee colony losses, which include calculations for this summer, were nearly 41% higher than normal, but not a record high. Now, for more than a decade now, bees have been in some trouble with scientists blaming mites, diseases, pesticides, and loss of food. In some other news, the Montana Department of Livestock has announced three educational meetings to help pork producers better prepare for a disease outbreak like African swine fever. These meetings will focus on the ways that producers can continue business amidst restrictions placed on animal movement to control the spread of a disease. Now, an outbreak of African swine fever in the United States, they say, would cause major economic losses due to lost markets and restrictions on movement of animals and products. To lessen the impact on Montana producers, the Montana Department of Livestock will be introducing a program at the meetings called Secure Pork Supply. Now, the meetings will take place June 25th and July 9th in Great Falls at the Montana Expo Park, and the third meeting will take place on July 30th in Lewistown at the Elks. And they tell us all the meetings run from 9.30 in the morning till high noon, and for all the details, contact the Montana Department of Livestock there in Helena. That's your Farm and Ranch News. Have a great day.